Hi there, welcome to the tutorial on character customization. Here you're going to learn the basics of how you can easily customize your character in iClone 5. All the characters you see here are just simply modified copies of one another. Here's how you can do the same. Let's start off with Matilda here. I'll zoom in on her face first by just pressing the J hotkey. You'll see I'm in the Avatar tab here, and I'm going to run through some of the features. The first one will be Hairstyle. When I go into the hair section, you'll see there are a number of different hairstyles in the content manager to the left. I can replace my current hair with these by simply double clicking. I'll stick with this one here, but you can see that when I rotate to the back of the head, the hair doesn't completely fit due to the different head shape. To fix this, I can go to the modify panel on the right and adjust the depth of the hair by modifying the Z scale value. This will make it longer so it will cover my character's full head. I can then move it into a suitable place. I can also quickly brighten the hair to a lighter blonde by using the brightness slider in the modify panel. I'll zoom out now and let's focus on the upper body. I can replace Matilda's body with a number of other upper body templates and clothing. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like it is and apply a different material to her dress. I can do that by going into the load material option in the modify panel. From here, I just need to choose a texture. I'll choose this cloth one and continue on. You'll see that it looks pretty ugly at first, so let's fix this. First, we'll make the pattern a little smaller by adjusting the tiling in the modify panel. Make sure you have the adjust all materials selected, then enter in a higher number for the tiling value. This will just cause the material pattern to repeat more times in the same amount of space. I can add some additional detail to this by adjusting the bump map as well. I'll double click on the bump swatch and select another pattern. These are the results, just to give a little bit more style to the material. I can adjust the hue, brightness, contrast, and saturation of my dress now as I wish to get the desired color and result. Okay, so now she has a nice pink dress, so let's move on to the lower body. Some body parts from other characters will fit okay with each other, such as when I apply Gwyn's lower body to Matilda here. The proportions will adjust slightly, and there will be no breakthrough of material with the upper body cloth. Because the original material is black here, adjusting the hue and other values won't do much, but brightness will, so let's move that up a bit. You can apply a number of different hands to your character if you want them to have a hook or something, but I'll just move on to the feet for now. Again, with the feet, I can easily replace the present feet with Gwyn's by simply double-clicking on the shoes in the Content Manager. If you want to apply accessories to your character, you simply need to double-click those as well. Let's add a little bangle onto our character here. You can see that it will apply to the correct place as soon as I double-click it. When you save accessories to your custom library, make sure you position them in the place you want them to sit on your character first. Then when you apply them, they'll automatically fit in place like this. Okay, let's move on to the skin now. You can see that there are a number of skin templates in the content manager. If I double click those, you'll be able to notice some subtle skin changes. Let's give this girl a bit more of a tan though, by putting down the brightness here. You can also adjust the saturation and hue and so on if you want to make her look like an alien, but I think I'll avoid that for now. On the face, you can adjust the eyes easily. Again, by clicking the templates in the content manager, I can see what my character will look like with different eyes. There are a whole bunch to choose from, so try them out yourself. For now, I'll just give my character a relatively normal looking set, then move on to adjust the hue. Here you can make some really unique eyes depending on your base template. If I fool around with certain values, I can make the eyes seem almost like they're glowing. Don't forget to select the mirror option so both eyes will change simultaneously.
You can also adjust the whites of the eyes to make them a bit more natural looking and not so bright. In the mouth section, you can adjust the teeth, throat and other sections of the mouth as well. With iClone 5, the teeth are now 3D, which gives a much more realistic mouth result. Each section can be adjusted for every color value individually. So let's move on to the face now, under the head tab. Here the first thing I'll do is go into the head options and you'll immediately see a number of different head templates appear. You can see the distinctive features that each template contains as I apply the anime, old person, and gnome facial templates. You can just use Ctrl Z to undo the last change, or reset all to return to normal. In the different individual facial sections, you can adjust the independent facial features, such as what I'm doing with the brows here. Let's give her some more pouty lips here as well, using the adjustment sliders. If you want to adjust facial features in even more detail, you can use the detail panel here. Use the separate control points and click and drag to adjust any feature like I'm doing with the eyebrows. If you're adjusting facial features, it might be a good idea as well to turn on the mirror option so you don't get unbalanced results on each side. Okay, so now I'll briefly show you how you can further adjust the skin. If I go into the texture section, a panel will come up showing the facial texture of my character. can zoom in and rotate the preview head on the right to see the results of any adjustments. You can fool around with the modification options here, or you can press the launch button to open up your skin texture in your image editing software. I'm using Photoshop here, and what I'm going to do is use two simple and fast tricks to give my character's eyes more depth. I'm going to use the saturation sponge first here, and dab it under the eyebrows to give a little bit of an eyeshadow-like effect. Remember to make sure your brush is a good size and apply it evenly, just like makeup. I'll do something similar with the cheeks here. First, I just have to make sure I have a nice healthy pink selected, and then check my mode and opacity. I'm using the brush tool here to apply some light pink blush to the upper cheeks of my character. After I'm finished that, I'll just go up and save my file. Then I need to return to iClone and press the Update button. You'll see that my face will automatically update with a new and pretty look. From there, just press OK. And remember that there's no going back from here once the facial texture is permanently adjusted. This will be what my character looks like in the end. Okay, there's another important type of adjustment you can make, and that's the body proportion. What I'm going to do in this next example is change Youthful Gwyn into a middle-aged woman by adjusting her total style. First, I'll replace her hair with a shorter style, just like I did with Matilda before. She'll also need a bit of adjustment with her hair as well. After that's done, I'll go to the accessories section and add in some glasses. You'll see that when they first apply, they're not totally correct, so they're going to need some movement and scaling as well. Just follow the same procedure as with the hair. Alright, so here I've adjusted the color of her clothing a little bit, just like with the previous example. So now I need to make her face look a bit older. The easiest way to do this is to go back and use the old person facial template. You can see immediately when I apply it to the face, it will look a bit older. I can also adjust the weight of the template to determine exactly how old I would want her to look. 
Okay, so now for the body proportions. To adjust this, just enter the body proportions panel in the avatar section. The first thing I'm going to do is adjust the rib cage, which you can select from the dummy here. You can see as I adjust the width that not only her breasts will expand, but also her whole chest area. The same goes with length and depth, as you can see from the side view here. If I select the breasts themselves and toggle on the mirror option, you can see the comparison for how each adjustment affects the character's physique. Okay, so let's move down to the hips here. I want to make those a bit larger as well, so I'll just follow a similar procedure as I did with the rib cage and adjust that. Notice the even distribution of weight gain as I raise the individual sliders. You'll see when I move to the side view that an increase in depth will add on to the appropriate areas. Don't worry for now if the torso is overlapping with the arms just yet, that can be adjusted later. Moving down to her legs now, just remember that it's important to have the mirror option on so you don't have any disproportional adjustment on each side of the body. Adjusting the length of your body and legs within proportion of the other body parts is important as well. For example, don't shorten the thighs a lot and keep the calves long, otherwise it might look a little strange. We can also move on to adjust the proportions of the upper arms as well. Giving them a bit more width is good to keep in proportion with the rest of the body. From the side view, we can adjust the depth to put a bit more meat on those bones as well. Once you've finished with your adjustments, you can go into the Motion Layer Editor and slightly adjust the position of the forearms so that they don't break through the body layer. Once that's done, just apply any animation to your character to see the results. Certain characters with exceptionally wild proportions will probably need small adjustments if motion templates are applied to them. But other than that, you've just got yourself a brand new character. Enjoy!